Hi YouTube, this is NW Family Stead. Uh, we live up in Washington, in Seattle, in an urban area. We are allowed six chickens, so we got five chickens. Um, got a coop. The coop's from Tractor Supply. It's the Innovation Pet Brownstone Hen House. Runs for about uh, $350. We got it on sale for $250, I believe. And yeah, I just want to do a review on it. I haven't seen any reviews on this chicken coop on YouTube. And when you go to Tractor Supply, there's there's three reviews online of it. So I figured I'd do a little bit of an in-depth review. Um, as far as footage, it's six foot long, about three and a half foot wide, and about four and a half foot tall. Um, they go off of the roof dimensions. So if you do build a frame to keep rodents out, like this, got a frame right here. It goes down about 16 inches. I dug about 16 inches to the ground and hopefully it'll keep them out. I've got bricks on the perimeter as well. We got a lot of rats and raccoons here, so hopefully it keeps them out. Um, it recommends seven hens. I would not recommend seven hens. I would recommend minimum or maximum three. Uh, it, it's pretty small. I mean, I've got six week olds in here. Uh, they're over there hanging out. I bring them out here once a day to hang out, spread their wings, and it's good for them. It's about 80 degrees, so it's perfect. Um, so let's get into this. Um, it's not a lot of room for feeders and waterers, so I'm going to do a PVC system once I get here. Probably end up putting it on this back side, because as you can see, there is no room in this thing. I mean, where are you going to put a five-gallon feeder, five-gallon water, you know, it's, that's the other thing. That's another reason why I'd recommend three, because it's, uh, it's really small, and feeding them, you, you don't want to be coming out here every single, you know, day just to give them food, other than scratch or whatever it may be. Um, it's not enough room to roost or sleep for seven. Uh, for three, it would be fine. This is their roosting area right in here so um there's about two foot roosts i think it'll be plenty for five we've got five hens but i've got a big run out here so they'll stay warm in the winter it can get cold here in the winter up in washington so i'm happy about that uh what else do we got here quality let's go over quality of this thing um it looks really nice the wood, the wood is soft. That's my really only issue of it, and the paint. So let's go over the soft wood first. I mean, look right here. You know, it's. <laughs> I didn't even over over drill that. It's just soft, crappy wood. They've got one coat of paint on the white. It's literally one coat. So I went over with a safe, animal safe, clear coat deal, uh, weather barrier kind of deal. So. We get a lot of mold and nasty crap up here, so it's worth it if you live in a nasty area. Uh, caulking. <laughs> so right here. I need to put some caulking here because this seal isn't tight. So when you guys go over these things, I mean, if it rains a lot there, you want to make sure this thing's sealed. Because that water is going to leak right in here if it gets in there. If we get a southern wind, the rain comes right in, so... I would take care of that. I'm going to put caulking there soon. They're not living out here right now, so I'm not worried about it. This is their nesting box. My complaint here would be these. I mean, look how flimsy they are. You know, just not quality. I might build new ones to put in. Just so they don't get all... They're going to get messed up over the years, you know. They're not built for that. Um, let's see, I bolted it down. It's pretty light. It's not very heavy. I think it's like, what, 70 pounds or something? So if you live in a windy area, I'd recommend bolting it down. Let's see, I bolted it down right here. So you can see, I kind of bolted it down to the wood right there. Sorry for shaking the camera. Oh, hey guys. Hello. We got Lizzie, the white one, the silky. This is blue. She's a production blue. <laughs> and then we've got a buff Brahma in there. Where's that buff Brahma? 
right in the back. Oh, you can't really see her. Sorry. They're taking a dust bath. Yeah. Yeah, you guys taking a nice little dust bath, huh? We got a salmon favorelle in there. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but they're pretty cool looking. Um, so yeah, I mean, I know it wasn't that much of a review. I just figured I'd let people look at it. I didn't see anything on YouTube. I did hook up some solar lights out here just to hopefully keep predators away. I got two of these. It's a two pack for $5 at Lowe's. And then maybe I'll give you guys a look at the run. I mean, you can see how small this coop is. They probably got like 100 square feet in there. So there's plenty of room. So, I mean, there's the coop. It's pretty small in there. Got this whole fenced in area. So they should be pretty happy. Um, I want to make more videos. We've got raised beds, garden. So, I mean, we'll see how everything goes with the YouTube. I figured I'd upload something. And we got a family, so we'll have fun. So, like, subscribe, and leave a comment on whatever I can improve in. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.